So much talk about John Tavares and his contract situation. You think about him being one of the elite players in the game. He's trending towards challenging his career highs. But also, think about this part. He had 54 points in his rookie year. Great player, first overall draft choice. Right now, Matthew Barzell, the super rookie, has 51, and there's 30 games to go. David Amber recently sat down with the Islanders captain. Uh, John, so many uh, great young players in the game today, and you, you get a chance to play with one night in, night out, and Matthew Barzell. What's the impression he's made on you this season? Uh, it's incredible. I think, uh, you know, you could see uh, his first couple training camps, uh, the talent and the ability, um, and even the self-belief, but I think he keeps learning more and more about how to be successful and, and uh, what the, bring, the, the game at this level brings on a nightly basis and what he has to do to elevate his ability and how he can be uh, productive and, and contribute and you can see the confidence grow and grow. Um, obviously very dynamic, uh, uh, his ability to use his, uh, his skating ability, be able to change direction, uh, draw people to, people to him and find the open man has been incredible. So uh, been huge for us this season. And he keeps the puck on his stick longer than most players. Most guys are looking to get the puck off their stick and yeah. he's just holding on to it. Who does he remind you of? His skating ability is, to me is a lot like Connor's. Just his ability to create separation um, is key. And then obviously uh, his ability to, uh, at that, that speed, be able to process the game as quick as he does. And it's impressive. John, one of my favorite goals this year was an assist you made to Josh Bailey in overtime where you just worked like a madman on the boards. What do you remember most about that play? I just couldn't shake Katuria. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've uh, played a lot against each other over the years and uh, a lot of good battles that have gone both ways and just one I was able to win and happy was able to uh, help contribute and contribute win and, you know, Bales did a good job just finding some dead ice, open ice, and I uh, was able to find them and nice to see it go in. Earlier this month, the uh, Hockey News revealed their top 100 people of power and influence. And what do you know, John Tavares was number one on the cover. What was your reaction when you saw that? Uh, definitely didn't ask for that. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, it is what it is. Those are things I can't control. So I just don't really put much into it. I just try to go about uh, my day and my life and you know, playing this game the way, same way I've, I've always have, just come to the rink, uh, have a great attitude, have fun with my teammates and work as hard as I can to get better and find ways uh, to help our team uh, be successful. So um, that's just the way I've tried to approach it and not letting, not letting anything on, on the outside uh, uh, try to, you know, make too much of an impact or affect me a whole lot. John Tavares. Needs a new contract come July 1st. I think John's going to do whatever uh, he, he feels is best. The biggest thing that would affect John is he wants to be a champion, and I want him to do it here. I'll be shocked if he goes somewhere. Did it give you a sense, though, of how important your pending free agent decision is, the fact the hockey world's waiting on it? Um, I try not to look at it like that. I mean, obviously, uh, I know it's probably anticipation about it, people talking about it, but I just prefer to take my time and... and uh, whatever impact that makes, I, I can't control. I just try to be myself and really enjoy being an Islander and things have been great with the team and the organization. And um, I think things are, are, are really headed in the right direction. Would a playoff appearance in April really help the Islanders courting of you to remain on the island? Well, um, I think the best way I try to describe uh, what factors into the decision is basically anything that affects my daily life. You know, you want to win, you want to compete for the Stanley Cup. So when I get so many opportunities and every year you take less and less for granted, knowing the opportunities, um, you know, there's only so many left in your career. So um, I, that's the way I've kind of always approached it and, and it's the same way. So whether it's, you know, me uh, having to go to the rink or, uh, you know, where I'm playing or where I'm living, what affects my daily life. I think all that goes into um, anyone's decision about where they play. Um, so I don't think it's the right thing to do to say this is the most important to me, then it's this, then it's that. I think it just all factors in and it's just trying to make a well-informed decision.